It's a little small to see, but this is basically Wikipedia for open water swimmers, uh, including for triathletes. And what this is, is all the people of open water swimming, uh, yourselves included, can upload whatever you've done, whoever you are, whatever races you've done, both in text, in photos, in video. Vaccination. But if you can click on, on uh, people, if I can click, click on people, the first one here. We have uploaded a few people, uh, and it includes a variety of people, A, B, C, D, F, G, all the way to Z. We have people like Cliff Lumstead. Uh, for those of you who are historians of the sport, he was a great swimmer in the 50s and 60s. Um, uh, we have Dale Petronich. Uh, a lot of you know uh, what he's done. Dale's a humble guy, so we don't have a lot of photos and videos of him. But we have people like Barry Watson, the first person who has crossed the Cook Strait uh, in Australia. We have uh, Sid Cassie. I'm sure you're there. Sid, what we want you to do is come to this site. You can edit your own site, add whatever information you want, your photos, your videos, anything there. If you've got a website for your school team, for your son, you put it all there. And that's what it's meant for, for, to create a community of open water swimmers for ourselves. You don't have to be someone great like Sid Cassidy or Harry Huffaker or Cliff Lumsden. You could be a beginning swimmer. Just join the community. We have people. We have places. If you can click on places. This is every place in the world where people do open water swimming. This is just a preliminary list. There is Fifth Avenue Beach. I don't even know where this is. It's in, uh, it, yes. In, so what we want people to do in this kind of site, uh, if you can kick Waikiki Beach, just because I'm more familiar with that. Uh, um, we want people to actually go to this site and say, hey, in Waikiki Beach at 8 a.m. on Saturdays, a group of us get together for, you know, weekend swim. And we can do it at Waimea Bay. Or Waimea Bay. <laughs> uh, whatever. And we want people to put information here. The water temperature is X. Watch out for the currents. Uh, there are jellyfish that come in July. And therefore, people can come to this site. They can find out who the people are in our sport. They can find the places where they can swim. They can click on products, every single kind of product you can think of for open water swimmers. Now what we have here is separated by manufacturer. So yesterday with uh, uh, David Robinson, the Speedo guy, we want Speedo to fill out all the different products that Speedo would have uh, in, uh, it, whether it's goggles, swim caps, uh, what have you, and I don't know where Speedo is. It's, uh, um, so we've just put a preliminary thing. You all can register for free, there's no problem. We're actually gonna next week actually educate you how to actually input, you just edit here and add whatever information you have. We also have pe thing like pilots. If you're interested in the English Channel, the uh, Cook Strait, the Catalina Channel, uh, swim around Manhattan, you name it, we're going to have all the different pilots who actually et can escort you or kayakers or paddle boarders who can escort you around the world. We have um, services, coaches, records. If you can go to records, this is very interesting. These are all the different records that we currently have. I think we've uploaded 500 and, if you go back, if we, we've uploaded 508 world records around the world so far. Uh, this is everything like, who is the fastest person in the Catalina Channel? Um, who has actually been the fastest person in the Ederly Swim? Who is the oldest person? Who has done the most amount of, of uh, crossings? Um, uh, who has uh, swum, Martin is not here. Who has been the person who has swum around the uh, Amazon River? Who is the first, who is the fastest, who is the oldest, who is the most prolific? Um, and we've just set this up so the community can actually upload all of this information. We have events. Um, 
events, I think we've only uploaded uh, 1,570 events around the world of approximately 4,000 of them. So if you want to know what the Alcatraz Shark Fest swim is, you just can cl click here, and next week we'll be informing all of the race directors, hey, put information in here. Uh, how far is it? What's the type? Is it an ocean, lake, river, bay? Uh, where is it located? How do you enter? What's the website? And over time, they should fill out this uh, format. Here are my pictures. Here are YouTube videos. Here are past race results. Uh, we also have groups and sites, um, which is basically all the websites, all the blogs, all the Facebook groups. Uh, if you can click on Martin Van Der Regen, um, you know, uh, what is Martin's website? Well, his website is here. Now, over time, he'll fill that out with everything you have. And then the last thing we have is triathlon swim legs. I don't know if we've uploaded anything there. And that is basically for all the triathletes or multi-sport people in the world. Uh, what does a triathlon swim leg look at? We're not concerned about the cycle or running leg, but if you're a triathlon, a triathlete, and you're going to go the, to the Hawaiian Ironman, what can you expect in that 2.4 mile leg? Is it wavy? Is it rough? Uh, is it along the coast? Uh, what's the water? Uh, what conditions can you expect? So this, yes? Who's going to place this for accuracy? Uh, open water source ourselves. And, but more importantly, because we've only a few people, the community. So, for example, if, Skip, when you upload your own information about your triple circumnavigation, if someone says, oh, I did a four-way, the community themselves will, will point that out. And so this edit function uh, will see, and anytime anybody actually edits, we actually get an alert. And, and the community, because myself, Mike, Damien, yourself, we don't know everything about the world, but there's somebody out there, whether it's Shelley or Martin, because I don't know all the races in Eastern Europe, but Martin may know some information. I don't know about all the races in the Netherlands, but some Dutch people will. And ultimately, we haven't loaded this yet, but underneath here, under Toolbox, we'll actually enable people to input uh, information in six different languages. So whether it's Japanese, Spanish, French, uh, German, uh, Portuguese, or Chinese, they will actually be able to input information in their own languages. So over time, this open waterpedia will be filled with the information that you guys and all of us want to know.